I'm Andrew Edwards, and you're watching Gear Live. Samsung recently flew me down to its annual Tech Day event so I can get an up-close look at the announcements coming out of Samsung device solutions. These announcements included a new mobile smartphone processor and a 5G modem, and I was on hand to see how they'll make our devices better in the future. What's going on, Tech Squad? Andrew Edwards here, editor-in-chief of GearLive.com, and as I mentioned, I recently was able to attend Samsung Tech Day to get an up-close look at Samsung's next mobile processor and Samsung's next 5G modem, in order to see not just the specs of these chips, but what they'll be able to do for us as the average consumers once they're released and integrated into devices. The annual event is part of Samsung's ongoing effort to foster innovation across the technology ecosystem with hundreds of attendees learning about and discussing the future of consumer and business technology. Now at the event, Samsung announced a new chip stacking technology for new generations of smartphone flash storage and high bandwidth memory or HBM used in advanced computing systems. Alongside the announcement that third generation 10 nanometer class D RAM is entering mass production, which opens the door to new cutting edge memory solutions like 512 gigabyte DDR5, LP DDR5, HBM2E, and GDDR6, and Samsung's 100 plus layer seventh generation VNAND for premium memory solutions and next generation PCIe Gen 5 SSDs, which are targeted towards future server applications, was announced as well. So let's talk about the two big announcements that stuck out to me, starting with the new Samsung Exynos 990 mobile processor. The new processor is built on Samsung's seven nanometer process and includes a Mali G77 GPU that increases graphical performance and power efficiency compared to Samsung's previous chip by up to 20%, as well as an octa-core GPU that should be 20% faster than the Exynos 980 that was announced about two months ago. And while it might seem strange that the 980 and 990 were announced so close together, the 990 in particular seems to be targeted towards a little bit of a different market. In fact, the new Exynos 990 lacks the integrated 5G modem that's found on the 980, which means that it'll be better suitable for 4G devices. It's also the faster processor of the two, so if Samsung wanted to take advantage of the speed in the 990, it would need to pair it with a dedicated 5G modem, like the new 5G Exynos modem 5123 that was also announced at Samsung Tech Day. The Exynos 990 also features support for displays with up to a 120 hertz refresh rate, as well as up to six cameras with a maximum resolution of 108 megapixels. Now, as I mentioned, Samsung didn't just announce the new Exynos 990 processor. They also announced the 5G Exynos modem 5123, which by the way, is also built using a seven nanometer process. And this 5G modem supports both flavors of 5G, that being sub six gigahertz and millimeter wave. Now this is also important because the Exynos 980 that was announced a couple months ago with built-in 5G did not support millimeter wave, it just supported sub six gigahertz. So now we've got a modem that supports both flavors of 5G. Now let's talk about speeds for a moment. Samsung says that the 5G Exynos modem 5123, when connected to a sub six gigahertz 5G signal, supports maximum download speeds of 5.1 gigabits per second, and when connected to a millimeter wave 5G connection, supports max download speeds of 7.35 gigabits per second. Now, I don't know about you, but a lot of people out there are having a hard time even getting one gigabit per second from their cable company. I'm lucky enough here in my home to have a two gigabit connection, and Samsung's here talking about maximum speeds of 5.1 and 7.35 gigabits per second. That is a lot of speed and a lot of power in your hand. Now, Samsung doesn't say which phones the new chips will come to first, but with mass production expected to begin later this year, there's obviously speculation that these chips are gonna find their way into the new Samsung flagship smartphones that'll be announced and released early in 2020. However, also based on past trends, we can also make the assumption that these chips will not make their way into phones that are released in the US or China, as Samsung has historically used Qualcomm's chips instead 
in those two regions. So there you have it guys, those were the two big announcements that I walked away from Samsung Tech Day, excited about the new Exynos processor and the new 5G Exynos modem alongside all the memory announcements that I mentioned earlier as well. Now I did also have the opportunity to sit down with the Senior Vice President of Sales and Marketing at Samsung Semiconductor, Jim Elliott, to discuss how these two chips and everything else that Samsung announced at Tech Day is ushering in the future of smartphones, autonomous driving, 5G, and more. If you wanna hear all about that, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss when that is released. Any questions you have about anything I talked about here in this video or Tech Day in general, drop them down in the comments below. I will meet you there for further discussion. Thank you so much for watching as always, guys. I appreciate your support. I'm Andrew Edwards, and I will catch you in the next video.